Champions, Italy will kick off their European adventure up against fellow Group B nation, Albania. Will the champions get off to a flying start or will the underdogs cause the first shock of the tournament? We're going to get into it, all of it, and then we're coming at you next. That's right, folks, back once again with another video today. It's all about previewing Italy up against Albania over in the Euros. And we'll get to that in a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your like button, boys and girls. Smash your subscribe. Your one-stop shop for Euro 2024 is here as we enter another preview. Today, it's all about Group B. Uh, and we're going to take a look at some of the juggernauts. First and foremost, uh, multiple winners, Italy, of course. We'll get into all of that in a second. Again, big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, smash your subscribe. We're still trying to get up there in the old subscriber count, as well as trying to get up to at least 50 likes here on this video. Can we do it? It's all down to you. So let's take a look at this match, of course, coming at you on uh, the 15th of June. Of course, it will be Italy up against Albania. Let's take a look then at, of course, Italy and how we got to this stage. Italy qualified as Group C runners-up. There's no automatic path these days for champions. You've got to earn it. And, of course, that was uh, secured on the 20th of November 2023. Their previous uh, 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 exploit have uh, been here 10 times in the past and they have been of course serial winners as well Luciano Spalletti is the uh, is the manager here with the star man for me you know, it was a bit of a gamble out there I've already had a couple of comments Matteo Rutteyegi is the star man of course maybe he could be the breakout figure of course we'll see if I'm right or if I'm wrong they are in group B uh, and the odds to win that group are 2-1 to one, uh, with of course to qualify odds at 8-1 to one on so I quite heavily fancied to make at least the knockout stages with 14 to 1 at the moment to uh, win the trophy. Of course, my prediction for Italy is a quarter final berth. I do see them still in the top eight within Europe. Can they, of course, they get there though? Uh, their path could be a very, very tricky indeed. Let's take a look then as their uh, a resume. Of course, opening up with uh, today's opponents, Albania. That's on Saturday, the 15th of June. Then they'll wrap it up. Well, sorry, not wrap it up. They'll take on Spain. Match number two. What a game that's going to be on June 20th. We'll talk about that game whenever it comes close. And then wrapping up the three P against Croatia in what has been dubbed already the group of death. Two uh, serial winners here, of course, multiple winners, and Croatia who have been there or thereabouts in previous competitions as well. So that's, of course, a quick look at the resume. Let's take a look at the squad then, shall we? Coming at you right here, right now, with some familiar faces, including Donnarumma. El Capitano. We've got also Spurs keeper in there, Vicario at the back. It's uh, out of the old garden with some more fresh fresh faces at the back. Damian's in there as well. Mancini, of course. Uh, Jorginho into midfield. Pellegrini, Castagne, Barella, of course. Up top, we've got like Sakameka, Chiesa, uh, and El Shabarari also makes the squad as well. What about my starting lineup then for uh, for uh, Italy? Well, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with a, uh, uh, a back four, of course, with Donnarumma between the sticks. Damian on the, on the left. Uh, sorry, it should be on the right-hand side. Uh, De Lorenzo there. Bastoni. Uh, Di Marco, of course, making up a back four. Uh, and then uh, we've got into midfield. We've got Barella, Jorginho, Fratesi in my eyes. Kies on the left. Rotegru on the right. Sakamaka down the middle, of course. That is my expectation. To line up. Let me know what you think will happen coming at you for this match. Of course, now we switch over to the uh, the opposition, which is Albania. Let's get into them then, shall we? Of course, they qualified as Group E winners. I don't want to underestimate that statement. They were Group E winners, which means they're here on merit. They didn't fluke anything. They came here, they worked their asses off, and of course, they surprised a few people along the way. They qualified on the 17th of November, 2023. This is, of course, their, their debut. Uh, of course, the manager at the moment is Selvini. Of course, legendary player. Now, of course, trying to become a legendary figure in Albanian uh, ranks by guiding this nation to at least the last 16. That's probably what they're hoping for. Here, the star man, of course, Broja. Of course, I've just seen links with him uh, making a switch to Syria. Ah, they are in Group B, with the odds are 25 to 1 to uh, to win that group, with 11 to 4 to qualify to win the whole thing, 500 to 1. Of course. This is a monstrous group. If you were to stuck Albania in the likes of a, maybe a group E or an F, 
or, or, or D even, uh, then, then I think Albanian would have a chance to get to the last 16. But this one has just got such a powerhouse. So realistically, it's going to be a tough one to see if Albania can get out of this. Uh, anyway, regardless of all that, they are in the group of death, which of course includes Spain, Croatia and Italy. They do open up against that opponent, Italy, which we're talking about right now on a Saturday the 15th of June. Then they'll take on Croatia, which I believe is probably the more more winnable of the of the free matches that's on the 19th of june before they wrap it up against uh, former winners spain on june 24th let's take a little look then at the squad for albania coming at you right here right now uh, on the left hand side we've got of course uh, beresha between the sticks got the likes of uh, ajeti at the back there de Majetti is the captain everyone knows these guys lachi in midfield uh, and of course broja along asani up top with with some other familiar Albanian fellows. What about, of course, my starting 11 then for Albania? Of course, it's going to be an easy one, this one. Of course, we've got El Barisha between the sticks, Ajasi, Demajesi, Ishmaji, Balu, Lachi, Ramadani, Asani, Jami on the, on the left, we got Asani on the right, Ambrosia down the middle, of course. It sounds like a cream, that's right. Uh, but let's take a look at the match itself then, shall we? It all boils down to this coming at, you at the Signal in Dunda Park, of course. Now, these two sides coming into this, the format has slightly changed since I pulled this graphic, but it is Luciano Spalletti's Italy coming at you on 83% form. Now, again, like the form has changed if they've uh, picked up uh, an extra uh, uh, couple of results there. Uh, 83% for them so they got rid of that that the, the L in the L column uh, up against Albania side uh, on 50% form for them as well over the last six they have won a couple of games since since this graphic so the biggest win for Italy of course they have played each other four times biggest win has been 3-1 win for Italy scoring seven goals over the course of those four games 1.75 goals a game on average Albania yet to get a win over Italy uh, just scored the one goal over the course of those four games now these have been the last four matches between these two sides and they played most recently back in November 2022 where Italy came on top with that big 3-1 win uh, of course so we'll see about that Heading into this one, though, of course, uh, Italy picking up results against uh, a draw against Turkey, nil-nil there, and a one-nil win over Bosnia Herzegovina. But they have made it three clean sheets on the spin. As for Albania, they come into this on the back of a, a three-nil win over Liechtenstein, and of course, a three-one win over Azerbaijan. That completes the preparations for the tournament. Uh, what about a quick look at the bookies? The bookies have uh, Italy 11-4 on for the victory. 10-3 is, of course, the draw. 9-1 is the long shots. But the public vote, though, still has Italy. Of course, overwhelming favours. 85% of the public vote have gone in favour of Italy, with 12% have gone with, that, with Albania. The draw is at 3%, of course. But that all boils down to me, folks. Of course, my prediction. And I'm going to tell you, short and sharp here. Italy are, of course, the champions. They're here. Here. They want to regain. They want to. They want to double up on this one. Albania are going to be major, major underdogs here. Not only for this game, but for the tournament itself. This is going to be a tricky game for Italy. I'm going to. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but of course, I'm expecting Italy to come out on top. I've gone with a big three 0 win. It might be a bit too much. I might be. Should have been with a two 0 or two one maybe. Give Albania a bit more credit. But uh, Italy should win this. However, if they don't win this and they only draw or even lose, then the serious question is going to be had about this Italian nation who are champions, of course. So make sure you smash the like, smash the subscribe, make sure you get your predictions down there in the comment section. Of course, we'll showcase the best ones of the predictions in the review video whenever we come back around for the final score on this. But uh, yeah, 3-0 in the end. Italy coming out on top. Uh, what do you think about that? Can they go all the way? Will Albania manage to get through to the the last 16 those are questions that we hope to answer very very soon but until then guys subscribe smash the like catch you later but until then guys and gals we're done